Okay, let's talk about nicotinic cholinergic receptors and answer the questions, what are nicotinic receptors, what are the two types of nicotinic receptors, and what are the locations and functions of nicotinic receptors? Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Morton and I am the noted anatomist. So what are cholinergic receptors? Well, they're receptors that bind acetylcholine and there are two types, nicotinic and muscarinic. And we're going to focus on nicotinic receptors today. Now, what are nicotinic receptors? Well, they are ligand-gated ion channels. Ligand-gated because this term ligand is a molecule that binds to another molecule. And early physiologists found that tobacco plants produced a molecule named nicotine and when put inside the body, binds to a receptor. And so early physiologists said, well, what do we call this receptor that nicotine binds? And they said, we'll call it a nicotinic receptor. We found also that in normal physiology, there was another molecule, the very first uh, neurotransmitter discovered, that's called acetylcholine. And acetylcholine also binds to this nicotinic receptor. And it's called a, so an acetylcholine acts as this ligand. It's called ligand gated because when acetylcholine binds, the nicotinic receptor opens like a gate. It's called a ligand gated ion channel because the ion sodium is in high concentration outside the cell. So when, a so when acetylcholine binds to the nicotinic receptor, the gate opens and sodium goes from a high to a low concentration and rushes into the cell. And this influx of positively charged ions causes a depolarization and excitation of the membrane and initiates an action potential. Ligand gated ion channels. There are two types of nicotinic receptors, NM and NN. And NM, because the letter M represents the location of this receptor, which is in skeletal muscle. NN, because its location is on neurons as well as the adrenal medulla. So let's start talking about the, the NM first. Um, they're located on the sarcolemma of a skeletal muscle fiber within the neuromuscular junction. And when stimulated, NM uh, depolarizes uh, the membrane and results in muscular contraction. Here's a motor neuron that's going to release acetylcholine. There is a skeletal muscle, specifically the, it could be the biceps or any muscle actually, which possesses NM receptors. And the space in between is called the synaptic cleft or the neuromuscular junction. When the motor neuron releases acetylcholine and acetylcholine binds to the NM receptor, the muscle contracts. So stimulating NM results in muscle contraction. And where do we find these nicotinic M receptors? Anywhere we have skeletal muscle from the frontalis to your extensor uh, digitorum longus. Uh, in this cross section of the spinal cord, we see a somatic or lower motor neuron that's going to release acetylcholine into the neuromuscular junction and binds to the nicotinic receptor. So let's now take the schematic and go into a little bit more detail. Uh, there's the terminal axon for a somatic lower motor neuron and it's going to release acetylcholine. And there's the side of a skeletal muscle cell. Um, and the synapse is a space in between, also called the neuromuscular junction. And in the synapse, we find acetylcholine released by the terminal axon and an acetylcholine receptor or cholinergic receptor. And in skeletal muscle specifically, it is an NM receptor. And when stimulated, opens a gate and Sodium rushes in, depolarizing the sarcolemma. The action potential spreads down the T-tubule, which then causes the sarcoplasmic reticulum to release calcium, which binds to troponin and results in muscle contraction. So a clinical correlation is the following. Here's a motor neuron with acetylcholine and a skeletal muscle fiber with a nicotinic muscle receptor. And the condition is called myasthenia gravis, which is an autoimmune disease where antibodies block or destroy the nicotinic muscle receptors. So when a motor neuron releases acetylcholine, the acetylcholine cannot bind to the NM receptors. And as a result, the depolarization of that motor end plate is hindered or completely stopped and results in muscle weakness and ultimately paralysis. Okay, next we're going to talk about the NN receptors, and they're found in all peripheral autonomic nervous system ganglia. So NN receptors, another way of saying this is they're found on the dendrites 
of the postganglionic, sympathetic, and parasympathetic neurons. So there's a preganglionic autonomic nervous system neuron, which will release acetylcholine. There is a postganglionic autonomic nervous system cell body, and you put them all together and it makes an autonomic ganglion. And those dendrites possess a nicotinic N receptor, and the space in between is the synaptic cleft. And when acetylcholine binds to that nicotinic N receptor, it, the ACEH is a ligand, the gate opens, sodium rushes in, depolarizes the membrane, and the action potential continues down the neuron. So stimulation of NN results in a continuation of the action potential. So where is the locations of these NN receptors? Well, sympathetic ganglia, like the sympathetic chain, or preaortic ganglia, like the celiac and inferior mesenteric ganglia, or cranial nerve parasympathetic ganglia, like pterygopalatine and submandibular ganglia, or intramural ganglia, like in the wall of an organ. So there's the jejunum, and if we zoom in and in, and there's our box plexus, that's where we find NN receptors. So NN receptors are on all peripheral autonomic nervous system ganglia, including the adrenal medulla. So in this schematic, we see a preganglionic sympathetic neuron synapsing in the adrenal gland, specifically chromaffin cells in the adrenal medulla. So if we zoom in on that, we see the preganglionic sympathetic neuron release acetylcholine that binds to a nicotinic N receptor on these chromaffin cells, which secrete a catecholamine like epinephrine into the blood, stimulating NN on the chromaffin cells results in secretion of epinephrine. Now, NN receptors are located all throughout the central nervous system, all throughout the brain, so much so that it's too much to cover in this tutorial. In conclusion, there is a somatic motor neuron, sympathetic pathways and parasympathetic pathways. And M receptors are found on the sarcolemma within the neuromuscular junction and N receptors are found in the dendrites of postganglionic neurons in autonomic nervous system ganglia, including chromaffin cells in the adrenal medulla. And that, my friends, is a little overview of nicotinic cholinergic receptors in a nutshell. Mm -hmm.